So we'll go story time. Um, I'm not sure if you guys saw the documentary on PBS and or saw my film. Click the link in my description box and watch my film Nine Wives and it will explain to you in, in, in great detail as to what I'm saying. And I'm doing this video because I'm glad because it substantiates my interviews and my truths. You know, as it pertains to what I'm talking about with Muhammad Ali's money, I've interviewed Bob Arum. I've interviewed John Ali, who was the national secretary who handled Muhammad Ali's money along with Jabir Herbert Muhammad and from 1967 to 1977, Muhammad Ali's wife. Now, at the uh, when Muhammad Ali came into the Nation of Islam, you couldn't play music, you couldn't do sport, you couldn't do nothing outside of the Nation of Islam. So Elijah Muhammad in the beginning didn't take to Muhammad Ali boxing. But when his son told him that we can make money, he aligned himself with Muhammad Ali, who in turn aligned himself with Bob Arum, and they created something which is called Main Bouts. Right. Main Bouts was the promotional company in which the Nation of Islam used to funnel money through uh, through Muhammad Ali to the Nation of Islam and Bob Arum and them would split. All right. So. And the reason why this is important in the beginning is because you, we forget years ago, Louis Farrakhan gave up his budding singing career. I mean, uh, entertainment career for the sake of the Nation of Islam. And that's why today you don't see Louis Farrakhan and many of uh, of these documentaries and or films because there was a great deal of jealousy between Louis Farrakhan and Muhammad Ali and his ascension and him using sports and entertainment to gain fame and money, whereas Louis Farrakhan did not. All right, now, here's how the money worked. Bob Arum, and if you've been on my show, you've heard you've heard me ask him these questions publicly, and I have I have twenty hours of of uh, between John Ali and Muhammad Ali's wife, which I will give out. I don't know when, but I I I have it. Bob Arum and John Ali and Jabir Herbert Muhammad, which is Elijah Muhammad's son, would let's say go in the back room and split the proceeds the night of the fight. And then when part one, and then when they would get the closed circuit money, they would split that amongst themselves because they had the deal. Muhammad Ali's deal with the Nation of Islam was separate from the deal he made with Bob Arum. It is on record. And uh, I've seen paperwork that Herbert... Nation of Islam took 33% off top, okay? And, and with that being said, his check would only would be 33%. But keep in mind, he never knew the percentage of the gate in which he received. He never knew the paper, we call it pay-per-views today, the closed circuit that he actually got paid for because Bob Arum... And Jabir and John Ali would split the money in the back on both ends, then take it to Chicago and then pay Muhammad Ali. Now, now fast forward now. Muhammad Ali got suspended. And I remember this in the interview. Muhammad Ali got suspended. John Ali told me this too, for bragging about money. For saying that um, um, I'm making money off boxing. I just bought a Rolls Royce. He would he became very, very flamboyant. So Elijah Muhammad suspended him, right? And why is that important? Because even when Elijah Muhammad suspended him, listen to me, follow me, he still got paid off of Muhammad Ali's salaries. You, you get what I'm saying? He suspended him, but silently to the people that was going to the mosque, they thought Muhammad Ali was suspended and was detached from the Nation of Islam. But when, in fact, Herbert Jabir Herbert Muhammad was still doing business with now Don King. And it was in the past Bob Arum. So they would still make the deals, take the money to Chicago, and then pay Muhammad Ali. And the reason why that is important is because 
over the duration of his career, Muhammad, Nation of Islam, stole millions off the books from Muhammad Ali. But here's the most important thing. Who was left with the tax bill? Muhammad Ali was left with the tax bill because the Nation of Islam never paid taxes. How did they, how did they clear Muhammad Ali's money? It was called charity. So when Muhammad Ali gave money to Elijah Muhammad, it was considered charity. So he never had to pay taxes on the money that he stole from Muhammad Ali. And uh, so, so with that being said, Muhammad Ali never ever really knew how much money he made. Never. And I, I've had first person accounts from John Ali who explained to me how they took the money. And how they devied up the money. Bob Arum came in the barbershop and explained to us illicitly how they devied up the money. He even called John Ali peculiar. Uh, th 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 that was his quote. And he said um, uh, Herbert Muhammad was, was very money driven. And as you guys can see, history proves that he was very, very money driven. If... if uh, if Muhammad Ali had a mink coat, Herbert Muhammad had a mink coat. If Herbert Muhammad had two girls, if Muhammad Ali had two girls, Herbert Muhammad had two girls, you know, and that was the truth. Now, here's how they got Muhammad Ali in the beginning, so you guys know. They ran this, they ran this uh, tale that if Muhammad Ali doesn't have the Nation of Islam protection, the mob would, one, kill him. And to rob him of all his money. And I uh, and, 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 and these are the absolute truths, man. And um, Elijah Muhammad and the Nation of Islam via Herbert Muhammad stole millions upon millions of dollars from Muhammad Ali. And this is well documented. I hope you guys watch the PBS series. It's, it's an amazing tale. And more importantly, click the link in my bio and you can watch Nine Wives. And it talks about uh, Elijah Muhammad stealing money from, uh, um, from uh, Muhammad Ali, using his son. And, and the reason why, and, and people always say the Nation of Islam created main bouts. They couldn't be on the record of having a business of that magnitude because it would open up their entire books. You get what I'm saying? So that's why... Uh, they they allowed Bob Arum to take control because they wanted all of Muhammad Ali's cont contributions to be considered charity. And you cannot refute these facts in 2021 because it's well documented. And uh, um, at, at some point in my life, I'm going to sit down and do a documentary only on first person accounts. I only use first person accounts, not my opinion, because you guys know my opinion. Uh, about Elijah Muhammad. I think he's a crook and I think he's a pedophile. And it's been proven that he is based off of the ages of his wives and his kids. So, uh, uh, so again, it's, it's a sad truth when, when the man who called himself God in the flesh actually stole money from the goat. And I want every fighter that watches this video, share this video, share, 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 share this video. Because it's important that if Muhammad Ali can be robbed, then guess what? So can these fighters. Muhammad Ali gave 100% access. 100% access to his career. And, and these are the truths. So anyways, man, uh, Barbershop Conversations, click the link. Um, and, um, and, and these are the Stone Cold Truth, as I said. I got over 20 hours of interview footage of John Ali and Muhammad Ali's wife at the time from 67 to 77. Now, keep in mind, Muhammad Ali was never reinstated into the Nation of Islam. And you guys say, why did Muhammad Ali fight so long? Because Herbert was addicted to the money. Anyways, man, um, barbershop conversations. I appreciate you guys and... Uh, Hopefully I, I've, I've explained it and, 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 and greater understanding so you guys understand and click the link and watch Nine Wives. I think it's incredible. Um, we've been 16 film festivals and I think we're going to keep on going and going and going. So I appreciate y'all and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace, guys.